Teamwood has been hard at work on the test server, modifying the unicorn pack. Some highlights I'll just point out here. One, Jersey Devil is now a tier 6, and it's in customs only, so you can't fight it in unicorn pack. Fantastic change. A ton of stat changes which have been very well received on my side at least. I think it's been very good. And we have this little critter. This little question mark bush homie. Uh, so we're going to try to build around him a little bit, see what he can do, see what kind of synergies we can pull off. It should be a good time. Hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. Alrighty. Um, Cuddle Toad, Bunyip, Alchemedes. I like that Alchemedes is like a competitive stat line now. I like the arrows too. <laughs> Let's me know what I'm supposed to do. When in doubt, if there's a button, you should click it. I'll just, I'll just throw that out there, but I appreciate the arrows. Take a 3-3. Three, three. Probably couldn't hurt. Probably. Mm. Eh. None of these are great. I have a love potion, throw it on you. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it is definitely not. What does it do? Transform nearest friend ahead to this at level one. Yeah, I'm confused. I'm very confused now. Do you transform a friend ahead of you into your yourself at level one? Is that good? I can't tell. I genuinely cannot tell if that's supposed to be good or not. Anyone gain ailment, gain plus one, plus one, until next turn. That works pretty well with the question mark, homie. And it's anyone, it could be enemies too. Okay, so let's do it like this. Throw you in here. We're gonna go wall chicken on you. You get a little buff. You're gonna give somebody spooked until the end of the turn. What if we do this? Because spooked is better than having weakness. <laughs> okay. And then you're gonna turn into a question mark guy, I guess. This, this love potion thing I'm not sure about. But I think I like the rest of what's going on here. In a way, this just overwrites the, the weakness, right? And now we have two bushes. Fantastic news. You know, for what that's worth. We got bushes. Yeah, so now it's gone. Interesting. Okay. So, start buffing you up. Roll me. Drop bear. Alright, I'm be quickly becoming a fan of the question mark, homie. <laughs> oh, it's all ailments? Dude. Hold on. This is like what I always wished Unicorn Pack was <laughs> from the get-go. <laughs> this is fantastic. It's like a fully-fledged, like, ailment pack. So we go... Here. We need to give you more attack than you. So that you go off after the question mark, homie. Which honestly shouldn't be too difficult. But let's just make sure that happens. Um. No, we don't need that. We do need wall chicken, though. Take one random. Okay, so it's not faint anymore, it's just a random enemy. Very interesting. I love Baku now. <laughs> I love everything here. This is fantastic. Smack him. Smack him up. Beautiful. So now Unicorn is probably going to be good too. We go here. Put on you. Put you around a little bit. Drop there. But you're not high enough attack still. Man, where's our other question mark, homie? 
We need to find him ASAP. Uh, I don't want to full send the Bunyip. Hmm, okay. We should be alright. We are alright. Okay, huge. Baku is incredible, by the way. Anyone thinking about running Baku, do it. Now we have a unicorn. Alright, hold on. Get rid of you. Throw you in. Throw you in. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. We're doing it. Don't care about either of you. We're gonna get permanent plus two plus two each turn on somebody. Still not really sure how they decide who. Ooh, okay. The Minotaur is still busted. Which, let's be honest, is not a surprise to anybody. Level me. Hmm, bad dog. Does not work well with Baku. Picks you, who cares? <laughs> this is a 4-1 out of the gates. That's kind of crazy. A little bit crazy, isn't it? Oh baby. Oh baby, a triple. Go here. Hold on to you. Um. Honestly, let's run like this. Just kidding. Why are you such high attack? <laughs> what is going on? I know why he's such high attack, because I keep buffing him, but like don't realize until it's too late. Alright, terrible order on my part, but it's okay, maybe. Manticore? We can hurt ourselves even more. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. And level you. Hydra, huh? You ever ditch a drop bear for a Hydra? Maybe. Start the scaling. Yeah, that's fair. I don't have enough gold for him. Love potion, Hydra on the Mothman? <laughs> Hold up. That seems kinda good. And by kinda good, I mean friggin' amazing. How do we want to do this? I think we have to combine you two. And then we go here. But then it's going to override it, so we can't buff him. <laughs> well, this is awkward. So you can't have your cake and eat it too, you know? You got to you gotta pick and choose your battles a little bit. Also, none of them are strong enough to summon anything. <laughs> I do like the chaining effect, though, for what it's worth. It's kind of fun. Um, do we want a Quetzalcoatl? Maybe. Do we want a question mark, homie, to be higher attack than the Baku? Definitely. See if we can find something to help us out in that regard. Nothing. Nothing at all. Alright, so we're going to be overriding our love potion. Um, I wasn't really thinking that far ahead. But we do have some unicorn buffs cooking. Which is reasonably good, I suppose. Oh, Vampire bat is still OP. Good to know. don't think this helps us out very much. 
but we can try it. If we can find a wall chicken right now, we did not. We could get him above the Baku and it would have been great. But that didn't happen. Okay, so we'll go like this. Roll me. Roll me. I just really want to see the ailment thing working, you know? <laughs> I just want to see it happen. I know it's not the strongest thing ever, but I just want to see it, see it do its thing. But the other teams are so strong. <laughs> They're too good. Alright, start me here, here. Ooh, okay. Hold on a second. Spicy pillocks. Sure. What do we got? Just smacking it up. What the heck was that? They just started like rapid firing out here. It was a little scary. That sound was also a little scary. Get a pen. <laughs> what is a pen gobble? I need to look that up. Seems like a funky kind of guy. Dang. Dang. That's tough. Alright, we go here, we level. It's gotta be a Minotaur, for sure. Maybe ditch a Barghest. Oh, Gargoyle doesn't pair with the End Goblin. What am I talking about? Hold the Wall Chicken, of course. We could throw in this guy for fun. Eventually, we're bound to get this to work, right? Statistically speaking, that should happen at some point. <laughs> Unless it's that bad, I guess. Okay, so now we can set up the wall chicken play. Let's go wall chicken on you. I think the pen gobble's gotta go. We can throw in a Bigfoot. That's not too bad. That's even better. So you're gonna go, and then you're gonna go. So you're both gonna get extra health. Huge. That's such a good change on Baku, by the way. You hate to see that one. But I think it's totally fine. We're just gonna get some crazy levels. Or do we ditch Baku? Or do we ditch Minotaur? Probably ditch Minotaur, right? Throw in a unicorn. The unicorn and Baku kind of, kind of oppose each other a little bit, but they're so fun to play. <laughs> as long as we can get a wall chicken, they, they don't fight too much. Okay. Some of the sound effects are a little interesting. Some of the new ones. Level you. Another unicorn? No way. Let's go here. And then we go here. Roll me a little bit. Hold the wall chicken. Okay, so Baku's not gonna get to- oh no, just kidding! Baku's gonna get to do a whole bunch. That's great. That's wonderful news. Man, a little garlic would go hard here, by the way. <laughs> Just imagine. A little garlic on our on our bunyip. That'd be so strong. Yeah, I think we're just cooking up the bunyip still, right? Maybe get you going a little bit. But I think I'd rather put it on you. And like this. Ooh, that's huge. That's actually huge. We got extra rolls. Hey, I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. He just gave us an extra roll. Ooh, huge 
levels here. Dude, what is going on? This is the most fun thing ever. And I don't... And I'm not exaggerating at all. This is genuinely the most fun thing ever. I gotta put it on you. Give me more ailments. Come on, where are they? This little dude, this guy right here, is exactly what Unicorn Pack needed. We didn't even know it at the time, but it is. Beautiful. We could probably switch the Bigfoot a little bit. I don't think he's entirely necessary here. But man, our Bunyip is cooked. This man is cooked out of his mind over here. You're here. <laughs> okay. Sure. Don't mind if I do. Who are we thinking of putting out here instead of the Bigfoot? We should probably decide on that. I don't know. Any any good ones here? I mean, really any of the tier 6s would probably be a good play. Maybe we just set up for that. Which means we should probably stop buffing the Bigfoot. Who else are we gonna buff, you know? Dude. <laughs> Get the vampire bat out of here. This is so goofy. Alright, level you. Do we just full send a behemoth? Sure, why not? And then give me a whole bunch of wall chickens, please. That's not quite what I had in mind. Is the extra health really going to matter? I don't think so. The Baku probably needs to dip out here pretty soon. Okay. I think we put it on you. Wall chicken is great. So yeah, I think we ditch the Baku here. Now that our unicorn is level 3, I don't think we need him anymore. Dude, a whole big ass jump team. Which I think we're gonna be fine with. I don't wanna speak too soon here. But yeah, dude, we're good. We can handle the jumps. As long as there's no frogman, I guess. Okay, ditch the Baku. We're going sleep near, I think. And then this is this is just our team. We go these homies all get plus two plus two every turn. Might as well. I guess we get you going, right? We could start a Peach of Immortality build. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the play, but we could. And sometimes that's all you need. Just to be able to could. Alright, how does this do? Does not seem like a crazy strong team. He does have this guy though, which is a little concerning. Ooh, that mana does get him there. That hurts. We're coming on after him though. We're hot on his heels, if you will. There's our sleep near again. Anything good? Anything good? Double chocolate for the sleep near? Okay. Now I'm kinda wishing I went the other guy, the mana serpent. Now that we have a big old sleep near cooked up. We get the draw. That's when we wish we didn't have <laughs> the unicorn use all his triggers immediately. But hey, you can't help it, you know. Hmm. What are we even looking for right now? I'm not sure. We're kind of just getting these guys cooked up, right? Get some extra levels on these homies. I think is the play. 
little yucky. Just a wee bit yucky. Ooh, ooh good hit. Solid mana snipe. Thank you, thank you. Can we pull this off? That's the question. I think we try this. We get a little peach of immortality scaling going. I'm not even going to worry about chocolate here. I'd rather get the sleep near going. Which I should have grabbed that other eat me cake. I don't know what I was doing. Thankfully we found another one. Alright, maybe we'll run Behemoth. Maybe. Just because we can. Oh no. This is looking a little ugly. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We were so close. We almost had him. Maybe. We were kind of close, I guess. I don't know. It's just... It's such a fun build setup. <laughs> but the high end doesn't seem there. I don't know. Maybe that's just... Maybe I'm missing something. You know? Maybe. And you actually, I don't know, do you work on yourself? <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. You like this. No, you don't. Okay. Well, good to know. Alright, give me an easy level here. Do a trout. We're feeling a trout here. Maybe. Possibly. Roll me. Hmm. A good level there. Let's try the trout. Just just to see how it goes here. Okay. Give me a level. Plus one, plus one for each roll. Seems pretty good. Let's go here. Because Baku is going to give it a ton of health around here. So let's roll. Um, throw you here, we'll wait one more turn, and then Baku sweeps him, ooh that's satisfying, that's good stuff. We're good, love to see it. Give me a nice little level here. Chimera seems pretty good. Especially if we can get the Baku cooking up pretty well. Um, I don't I don't think any of these are really gonna do it. I don't think furbearing trout is either, is the issue. <laughs> Give me a wall chicken. I mean, maybe we get rid of the sneaky egg, right? Maybe. It's an 8-4, it's not bad. Hold on to you, hold on to you. Could put a gargoyle. Maybe we do like that. That's actually kind of a good setup. Low-key. That's kind of good. This is totally fine. 
So we're going to set up here. Get rid of you. Level you. We're going to go Rambutan Trout. Gargoyle here. How do we want to do this? So you two are getting the, the question mark homies. So that means we want to give you the wall chicken. Save you for later. It seems good. Get some levels going. Or get some health going, I should say. Ah, we need to get the trout to level 2 though. <laughs> Otherwise, this isn't going to work. <laughs> uh, okay. Go here. There he is. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Crisis averted. Um, anything else we want? Give the back most friendly pet 3 health. Like, fine. It's not very exciting. I'd be fine getting switching the Baku out, potentially. Running a... A unicorn, perhaps? Not sure yet. I'll hold him. Because right now we're just getting health scaling every other turn. Unicorn could be some actual scaling. We draw? Okay, sure. Go here. Maybe we leave Baku for a second. Because health is most important, I think. Ooh, that's huge. Could also run a Kitsune. I don't think Kitsune is really going to cut it. Maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. Wh whatever we're doing, let's just toss an Easter egg in here. This is why we need pill. We should have pill in every pack. Should be a must. A non-negotiable, you know. We had to work hard for that one, but we're good. And now we can set up a unicorn. Go here. Definitely prioritizing unicorn. Come on, anything? Okay. Got a big homie. Ooh, almost got him. I think we should be okay here, question mark. Oh. No, the, the math didn't work out there. The Nurikabe was a little too big. Unicorn, huge. Um chocolate on somebody. Probably you. If anything, I feel like we need to get maybe the gargoyle swapped out. I'm kind of regretting not running the kitsune, I'll be honest. I think the kitsune might have been good here. Roll me. Hold you, hold you. We don't need wall chicken. Well, there's the kitsune we were talking about. <laughs> now is our chance. Though that begs the question, why are we buffing the gargoyle? We don't need answers to all questions. It's looking kinda good. <laughs> it's looking okay. Uh, it's really not like the best ever. Not by a long shot. Um, how do we want to run this? So you're gonna attack, you're gonna go here. So you're gonna, not gonna do a whole lot of transferring. Cause we have to have these two set up like this. So I guess the unicorn could go like here. Yeah, there's no reason unicorn can't be further up. 
Um, start me with a roll. That's huge. That is absolutely enormous. We'll eventually need you. Maybe not quite yet. Mana Potion is probably just good. And we're getting levels. Oh baby. <laughs> all of a sudden this team is looking kinda good. Looking kind of alright. I say we go... We want the Kitsune. Like, you two are the ones who are really trying to buff up. The Unicorn can't buff itself, so like, this part doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense. Interesting. Okay. We actually don't care about you two. So I guess we do want Kitsune? I don't know, this whole part is getting a little weird. Sea Serpent would be good, if we had six spots on our team. <laughs> If only. Yeah, I guess for now we just... I'll keep the unicorn, I guess. Because we can like wall chicken and stuff. Or just if we get another ailment. That can also be good. But we don't want this level 3. Ouch. Okay. If we defeat the vampire bat, that means we're doing good. It means we're doing something, right? Um, save the wall chicken for when we actually need it, maybe. Um, where are you on here? Don't care about the the fur bearing trout. Hold the chocolate for you, and we're good. Keep it coming. We got some a little bit of passive scaling. Let's see how how good. <laughs> Just a whole swarm of 30-30s is kind of ridiculous. Chimera is still pretty good, turns out. Who would have thought? Romy? Anything? Not really. There's the unicorn. Hold on to a wall chicken for later. Kitsune, maybe. So now the unicorn has one extra trigger in case they have ailments in battle. As they do. But of course the unicorn is already dead, <laughs> so that's not gonna work. But we're good. We got some some big homies cooking. Um, how do we wanna do this? Just give you some extra scaling, I suppose. That's the tough part. The unicorn has to actually survive to to use its ability in battle. Which is far from a guaranteed. What a strange looking team we got here. What an absolutely strange team. I think we're gonna be okay. When in doubt, just run a Chimera, I guess. Alright, anything good? Not really. We'll grab mana if we find any. We'll grab a Kitsune, of course. We can get both. That's fantastic. And yeah, I mean, for now, I'll hold the wall chicken. We're kind of just, you know, cooking as usual. Status quo, if you will. I think if nothing else, we can all agree that this is... <laughs> at minimum an unconventional team. I think we can all agree to that. <laughs> Which is exactly what we're going for, you know? We're going for teams that you wouldn't think up in in isolation, but they actually kind of work. That's the goal. 
And the more of those we can find, the better. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I think we're okay. That guy's a little terrifying though, I'll be honest. <laughs> the giant behemoth. Alright, I mean, it's looking pretty good. We got three levels. We could have gotten the question mark homie too, but I didn't want to keep throwing ailments on you. It didn't really matter. We could have gotten it. If it was on my actual account, I would have, but test account who cares about achievements but hey <laughs> little question mark homie I love it I love to see it it's a good time coming up with some weird wacky builds always fun on the test server